So check this out. I'm in Sequim, I'm like way out in Sequim here. I rolled up to be able to get this wood burning stove. It's about a, I don't know how many hours of a drive it was. I actually went from West Seattle to uh, Key Peninsula and then came up here. I was at least like a two, three hour drive, I think, with stopping for food. But got this thing, picked it up. I uh, reduced as much weight as I could. It took a bunch of bricks out. I emptied out a lot of the soot. There's a whole pile of it, so that is going to help quite a bit. Um, it was like a lot. And it was, yeah, it doesn't even look like it was much, but it was a bunch, like five inches thick, all on the bottom and take the one on the sides. So reducing a whole bunch of weight and taking some bricks out. I'm just gonna make it a little bit better. I might even just take all the bricks out because there's still more. Let's see, look at that. So I might as well just take them all out. out. Yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm uh, getting this stove loaded inside there. I'm trying a few different methods. Um, you know, this is why I kind of need like a, like a back winch system. And of course what I, I think I could do is probably utilize those there with some ratchets and ratchet straps and, uh, you know, help to kind of like hoist it, hoist it up and then set it in. So that might be what I do is take those straps off for now and just wiggle it up bit by bit so I think I'll I think I'll give that a shot actually and it might be the best bet anyhow that's what I'm doing that's what I'm up to stove coming to Emerald Forest gonna be in the, in the sauna oh boy all right so I'll show you kind of what I'm doing here I've mounted some ratchet straps to the back here this thing is super heavy and I've wrapped that thing around it that this can just kind of ratchet the thing up. So it's gonna eventually just support it up and I'll be able to push it in. And that's how this thing gets up and in without me having to push it hard. All right, mission complete. The stove is loaded and covered. Um, yeah, just by using some straps. Leverage to be able to get it up over the lip point, the hardest point. So I think the vertical anchor is like tip it up and then kind of scoop it in. That's what I did. That's how you get a stove in like this. One man, several hundred pounds of a stove into the back of a vehicle. Ahoy.